So hey guys, today I'm gonna be attempting to do some mini twists. I did these ones about a day ago. These ones were two days, these ones were done yesterday. Um, so they have shrunken significantly. I'm gonna show you guys how I would usually do mini twists. Basically how I stretch my hair is, I just pull it tautly and I wrap it around itself. All the way down to the end and then it kind of started doing its own little thing and I finished it off like this and I had it stretched I think I did this last night and this is what the stretch Mini twists are an extremely great form of protective styling because your entire hair shaft is it's basically it wrap, wraps around itself as you twist it so they're tucked into themselves hence making it a protective style and you can protect it even further by wrapping it up into itself I can't remember how I have this but I might have to like tuck in my ends you know just a little bit I never said this was cute, I just said it was a protective style this is my homemade, I call it a creamy oil and I made it myself inside we have some homemade avocado oil Inside we have some homemade avocado oil, we have argan, not argan oil, tea tree oil, we have peppermint oil, there's some glycerin inside, and uh, coconut oil, a couple other oils I can't really remember, but I will leave a link, leave the ingredients down in the description bar, and do not mind this, I have a zit, and I'm about to do my makeup after so i'm trying my best to dry it out this is a mud mask
you want to try to maintain two separate strands as you work your way down the shaft try not to borrow so as you can see my shaft is remaining oopsie is remaining clean And once I get to the ends, I take a little extra of my homemade oil mixture and I just Mini twists are not too small. So I will give you a perfect example of what your mini twist should not be. What size? Absolutely too small. And I'm gonna twist it. I'm gonna twist it. Just so you guys can see. I don't think I'll go all the way down. No. This is too small for a mini twist. It's mini, but it's the miniature version of mini. You don't want this. What would happen is over time, because normally you would keep mini twisting for like two to three weeks, or you have the OGs who go upwards of two to three months. Yes, I said it. You wash your hair in between. You treat it as normal, you can even revive your twists without taking them down. If you do that, and you leave your mini twists this size, you're going to end up with one big bongo nutty on your head. Yeah, it won't, I don't think it would, it would lock, however. It would be extremely hard come take down me. So try not to make your mini twists this mini. So I'm going to undo this. And because I kept my shaft clean throughout the entire twist, I could just literally pull it from the root. See? And it's done. I try not to use like use a comb to pat my roots when I'm doing my mini twists because after having my twists in for about two to three weeks because after having my twists in for about two to three weeks I take them down and I lock a twist out so if I would have patted the roots with a comb I would have to go in with a pick and try to hide those pads. But because I never patted it, as you might be able to see here, it's just some rough, I pull out the hair in patches, and that's it, and they kind of fall in place on their own. The longer you want to keep your mini twists in, the smaller you want to make your mini twists. So I'm going to have these in for about maybe three weeks to a month. So this is a good size. If you only want your twists in for like a week, you could go up at least two sizes. Then it won't really become a mini twist, but it will still be a protective style.